welcome back to the next couple of days. We're going to work in car because we're going to the back. We're going to bring to the back. We're going to get a move here. Oh, wait, yeah, there we go. We're trying to... <laughs> we're bringing him to the vet for his ACL visit. Hopefully, the doctor's going to release him this time. This, it's weird because he's usually very crazy in the car and he's very calm right now. Okay, okay. He's a poopy shot. He's a poopy butt. Okay. Super. There he is. Oh, he's so cute. He is so adorable. But I wanted to tell you guys, show you guys, when I waited for that. Maybe, yeah, maybe I will, um, maybe I will video tape a little bit of that. Let me watch this quickly. Thank you. Guys, it is actually Monday. guys so I'm back on I'm going to start dinner now what I'm making tonight is um, homemade homemade I'm making an open roast beef so I stopped at the deli on the way home today from the doctor's office and I got two pounds of roast beef what I do is I put it on a plate warm it up in the microwave just a couple of minutes not that long make gravy mashed potatoes and we have open roast beef you can put bread underneath it or you don't have to have it whatever the way you want um whatever so that's what we're having for dinner tonight um i'm very hungry I really didn't eat much today so i'm gonna get started um so i will bring you over to the other counter um and to the counter in a minute and show you guys what i'm gonna do so what I did, guys, was I'm putting um, two. I'm putting. I put four cups of water in the pot because these take two cups of water. Um, wait, one pack of gravy. Sure. Where does it say that? Oh, it's one cup of water. Why did I think it was two? Hmm. That's right. I'll add another packet um, because we need a lot of gravy. So I'm putting this gravy in here. I also have two cans of the canned gravy that I got at Walmart. I'm going to use two. Um, so, guys, I didn't tell you. I don't think I told you. Co yeah, I did tell you. Did, did I tell you? I don't remember. Cooper got released, guys. Cooper is a free agent. <laughs> now he can run around. Thank God his leg is all healed. Doctor said he's good to go. Should be for four thousand dollars. Four thousand dollars. Telling you, so crazy. But it was worth it. Just hope that his, you know, arthritis stays out, stays okay. You know, it is what it is. That's what happens when you get animals. You know, you don't know what you're gonna get. But anyway, so yeah, so he's happy. 
He's back to being a crazy man. He's been wanting to run and play for so long. Felt so bad for him. But, so yeah, so that's great news. And... Um... So I went to the doctor um, for my um, for my checkup. Let me get the um, I had to go for a checkup for um, my weigh in for the I don't have my light on um, for my weigh in for the um, for the surgery. And uh, I was like a pound up, which is not a tragedy. But she told me that, you know, my pre-op that I have is on the 12th, which is two weeks before my surgery. And so she said that um, she wants me to kind of start the little the diet before, before the two weeks because um, she wants to make sure that I'm under the weight that I have to be. Um, you know, before, when I go in for my pre-op. So, guys, I'm telling you, I went to Aldi on the way home because, um, I gotta put the light on here. I'm putting, let me first do this first and show you guys. I'm putting some onion powder in the gravy. Some salt. Some pepper. And some garlic powder. So anyway, she wants me to be ahead of it because, you know, the insurance company um, has to approve it and, and all that before, you know. So, so anyway, so I was going to start making my, making my salads, you know, I was telling you guys the other day. Um, and making those salads like that I get in Aldi and Walmart. But um, I just couldn't do it the other day. I didn't have the strength. I just didn't have the energy. And... Um, so I, I just said, you know what, on the way home, let's, let's stop and just get those salads. So I got like 12 salads because I just love them, guys. I just love them, and they're so convenient and so easy. And I don't have to worry about putting everything together. You know what I mean? I just can't. Just just can't. All right, so this gravy is going to, I'm going to put it on the other flame because I don't want it overflowing or anything. So we're going to let that simmer. I'm going to get the roast beef. Um, I gotta put my light on because I can see it's a little bit, there's a little bit of a glare. Um, I gotta, yeah, so I'll be back. All right, guys, so what I'm doing is I made this bag of vegetables. It's like um, um, beans and just little potatoes and some peppers and stuff that I had frozen in there. And, um, um, this is Jenny's portion. I'm gonna um, heat this up a little bit, put gravy on it, and the mashed potatoes are um, heating up in the microwave. Like I said, this is a very simple meal, guys. Very simple, very quick. You know, really good. So um, I have to tell you guys some stuff, but I'm gonna do that after um, after dinner. I'll come back on and talk to you guys a little bit. All right, guys, so here is my plate. I have the vegetables, some roast beef, and a little drop, a little, you know, scoop of um, mashed potatoes. That's it, guys. This is what's for dinner tonight. It's going to be delicious. I'll see you in a bit.